Are you guys ready to find out who the real WoW killer is? I'm actually curious who is the real WoW killer. The lazy peon made this video called the real WoW killer and I'm really curious. Like a lot of people are saying that other MMOs are the reason why WoW is like sort of like dying. And some other people say it's because of like this scandal that happened with Blizzard, right? But hey, let's find out. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you've been a fan of MMORPGs at any point in the past decade, oh, you've I have probably been. heard the term WoW Killer thrown around when it comes to discussions I'm about what will MMO be fan. the next big MMO. The truth is, I think the term WoW Killer is very subjective, and at this point has multiple definitions depending on the context of conversation. For example, do we define a WoW Killer as an MMORPG that simply overtakes WoW in terms of player numbers, or does it need to be a revolutionary MMO that achieves the same level of popularity as World of Warcraft did at its peak. Do you I'm the opinion that it's the popularity that matters. Like a game that has like a higher player base than WoW to like to dethrone it. I think popularity is what makes a game, right? Because the community makes the game. And if you don't have a community, you don't really have a game. Like you can have a game with like the best graphics and the most fun, but if you don't have a community, it will die. That's just how it is. You define a WoW killer as another MMO that you personally so I'm also WoW all about for, community. Or another MMORPG that got you as addicted as WoW did at its peak. Or do you hear the word WoW killer and think of a scenario that causes WoW to literally be shut down due to a lack of players and no longer being profitable? As someone that's been covering MMOs shut down for the best part of seven death. years now, I mostly see the term WoW killer come up whenever a new MMORPG is announced or gaining hype, whether it be New World, Ashes of Creation, Black desert and so on. In the comments I'll see things along the lines of, this game will never be as popular as WoW, looks yeah. like another WoW killer, this game's too niche to kill WoW. And my reaction to reading this stuff is always, who fucking cares? Yeah. Like, I do not understand the absolute obsession from the MMORPG community about the game that will eventually have more players than WoW. And I came to this opinion back in 2015 in the middle of Warlords of Draenor, sitting alone in my garrison thinking, I am playing the most popular MMORPG in the world. Guys, there's also something important I need to say to you, like something I've observed, and this, this is about like popularity and about like dethroning WoW, right? Like these days we have just so many freaking games that are out there, and if you look like back in the day, like World of Warcraft was like almost like the only game or one, not like the only, but one of like few games that were like this, right? And if you were into like MMOs, you didn't have so many options, but now because you have so many options with MMOs, it's very unlikely and very, very difficult to reach a high peak like World of Warcraft had because now you have people that fancy Black Desert Online, some other like, oh, Elder Scrolls Online is the game, I love Final Fantasy XIV, uh, I love freaking New World. So there's like, like so much spread now that like the whole MO player base is being spread on so many different games. And back in the day when like WoW launched, there weren't too many MMOs that were like that. So there were like few options. So of course the popularity went high because you didn't have anything else then, right? That could like compete. And now you have games that from a level of gameplay and quality, combat, story design that are either in line with WoW or even better at some point. And they can't reach a higher popularity because the player base is too spread on too many different MMOs, right? world right now, but it doesn't matter because the world feels dead, players are constantly phasing in and out of existence from sharding. Oh, I've seen this one by organic social interaction I love due to this. how the game's fundamentally designed. Outside of your 30 to 40 player guild, who gives a shit how many people play WoW? You'll never see or interact with 99.9% .9 of the player base, and the game is designed in a way that players have no impact on the world. As long as you can still find groups for instance PvP and PvE, you're gonna have roughly the same experience with the game having 1 million players as you had with 5 million players. Mm. Sure, you'll see less people AFK in capital cities and longer queue times, but that's about it. The game just doesn't rely on a lot of players for you to experience all of the content. What I think most people really mean when they use the term WoW Killer is what game will be able to lift the MMORPG genre back to being the hype genre. <laughs> wait, wait, that's actually funny. That's funny. What did he say here? Germans like playing simulators. I'm from Germany. Really? Sermon Germans love... Uh... 
Okay, in USA, the most popular genre is action. Okay, interesting. Yeah, but that makes sense. And like shooting games are very, very popular there. But Japanese like playing dating simulators and games about robots. <laughs> okay. I mean, Japan, they are technologically quite advanced, right? Like you go like to freaking Tokyo and you have like very, very interesting buildings there that are like sort of some robotic, right? Social gaming app Hego and particular popular with Gen Z in Indonesia. What in Poland? More than 50% of all players played puzzle games. We're back to being wow. the hype genre in the same way it was from around 2004 to 2010, where it felt like every game dev was trying to make a WoW competitor. Yo, that's a WoW copy paste game. Yeah, look at the graphics and everything. Cycles. Even the tree. Over the past decade, these hype oh, genres include MOBAs, survival games, card games, Minecraft clones, and recently Minecraft Battle clones. Royale. The best way to tell what hype cycle we're currently in is asking yourself what bandwagon are developers trying to jump on at any given time. Yeah. Recently it feels like we've had a bit of a BR phase with Fortnite, then a gacha phase with Genshin Impact, and now I'm seeing a lot of devs rush to implement crypto into their games to jump on the blockchain gaming and play to earn hype that went mainstream with Axie Infinity. When it comes to the WoW killer, I think people assume this will be a game that's similar to what WoW was back at its peak. Something recognizable. Like a WoW too? But I actually don't think this will be the case. Mm -mm. The MMORPG community that went through it's that MMO spread. hype phase are essentially a different generation of gamer. Back then we weren't as jaded by the genre, we didn't grow up with microtransactions or pay to win, instant gratification and convenience were less prevalent in terms of game design. Yo, but that is actually really true. Like, I tell you guys how I was when I was like a, a teenager. So when I was like 14, 15 years old and I started like really getting into MMOs. I think I was like 14, 15 when I got like really into MMOs and playing like games online. Like, to be honest, I would like buy a game in a store or somewhere and there were like no microtransactions. You would get like everything with the game. I mean, there were like some games with like a paid subscription, like World of Warcraft, for example. But I didn't play World of Warcraft on my own account, basically. And no, I didn't, like, uh, use someone else's account. But I would, like, go to one of my friends. And he has, like, uh, like he let me create a character on his computer. And I would literally sit next to my friend and play a bit WoW. Like, that's how I got into WoW. Like, that's, like, old school WoW. I would play, like next to him or I would like use his character and we would like be together I would like talk about everything about like some quests and stuff and he had a was it like a orc shaman yeah I think it was an orc shaman if I'm not mistaken and we did like the shaman quest line and stuff it was very very funny and same with like other games and we would always talk about the games and the games were like more social they were not about like microtransactions there was not even like a hype we would just see something that looks cool we would get the game we wouldn't even care if it's popular or not and we would just talk about it because there wasn't so much social media back then right like only you know what's like hype or what's not hyped because of social media and like yeah and yeah, walked uphill to school, or oh, I remember walking to school. It took me almost like a half hour each day. Back then, and I'd actually say we had a longer attention span than your average gamer nowadays. The thing is, the actual WoW killer will be a game that becomes massively popular with the average gamer now. And I'm not sure if such a game will live up to the expectations of the MMO audience of old. This WoW killer will create a new generation of MMORPG gamers that possibly don't like the same design philosophies as the previous generation. Maybe the game to repopularize the MMORPG genre will be cross-platform. Maybe it'll have play to earn and crypto integration. Oh, no. Maybe it'll Please be some no. form of Pokemon Go augmented reality app. Or perhaps it won't Please no mobile game. technology advances to the point of full dive ready player one style vr i know a lot of people have touted new world <laughs> star funny. citizen and ashes of creation to be games to make mmos mainstream again but i personally think it's more likely that a less niche game such as the recently announced farmville style mmo palia farmville? has a better chance at that kind of success which brings me to my next point different whilst innovation. the next game to take the mmorpg genre by storm may not be the wow killer people are expecting that doesn't mean that you won't find your subjective wow killer for me personally, I've already been had this 
this game come and go. Ever since I got hooked on Black Desert Online from 2016 to 2018, I've never been able to play WoW as a main MMO since. Sure, I'd check out the new expansions and resub for a few months, but it didn't make me want to throw away my life like BDO did. And whilst I don't play oh, Black wow. Desert anymore, those f Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I remember this episode, that was a funny one. Like, I used to watch a lot of South Park, and I thought, like, this this World of Warcraft episode was funny, when, like, everyone became, like, crazy chubby, and they were just, like, constantly uh, playing, not doing anything anymore. <laughs> they would, like, almost die from playing too much WoW because of the addiction. Like, this is a cool South Park episode. But would there be any game that can be as addicting as WoW? That's a good question. But w I know when a WoW killer will happen for sure. And that's like in 10 years from now at least. Because in 10 years from now, the technology... The technolog technology... Holy shit. The technology will be so advanced that any game that's out right now will look like... Like antique or something. <laughs> like seriously. We have to see what happens in 10 years. Because all the shit computers we have now. They will be all broken down by 10 years from now. Like my computer. I doubt it will still work in 10 years. Maybe it will work like another 4 or 5 years. Maybe 6 years. But in 10 years the computer that I have. Will become useless. The computer that we all have will become useless. And the technology will be so high. Maybe we have like 4K MMOs or something like that. Like HD would even be old school in 10 years maybe. So 4K becomes like the mainstream and then like WoW will really die because of technological advancement. And whilst I don't play Black Desert anymore, those first two years of its Western release gave me that same feeling of being completely addicted as back when I first tried WoW back in TBC. So that's kind of how I personally prefer to use the term oh, WoW Killer, new world. as something subjective almost to describe my main MMO for the foreseeable future. With that in mind, the two games on the horizon I can see myself maining are New World and Ashes of Creation, although currently I don't see New World as being a game I'll play all year around as I could see myself running out of content fast with it being a theme park. As long as those two games have enough players that I can experience all the content without feeling like the games are dead, I couldn't really care less if the broader gaming community considers them to be successful WoW killers or not. They're oh yeah, I have some news about uh, New World, like some thoughts that I have on the game. So, because New World is behind the trillions of dollars a company like Amazon, I'm pretty sure Amazon cares so much about their reputation that if New World should die out or get unpopular, they would just make releases and releases of certain expansions and patches. I feel like Amazon, they have too much pride and too much like face to, to maybe lose or something that they would not let uh, New World go down like this. I think because like when there was like negative feedback, I saw something that Amazon did. They immediately said, oh, we're going to release the game uh, later and stuff. I think actually the devs, they really care also because it's from Amazon about that New World is going to be a big and good game. So I'm pretty sure New World will not be just like a theme park and you just go through it and then it's like over after like a few months or weeks. I'm pretty sure they're going to do something about it because they want to keep a good name. That's like my impression that I have and from how I saw the reaction of, of the deaths, right? When like negative feedback came. It'd be wow killers to me, which is all that matters really. Usually whenever the wow killer conversation comes up, a common point of view is the only game that can kill wow is itself. And I actually agree with this to a certain extent. People still play old MMOs like Guild Wars 1, Ultima Online, yeah. and the original EverQuest 15 to 20 Could years later. Wow Classic. It's if so Shadowlands old, but was the final played. WoW expansion and Blizzard just stopped adding content, people would still be farming mounts and transmogs 10 years later, or making <laughs> yeah. their own content through leveling challenges or classic servers. One thing that would speed up the game's decline though, is if Blizzard starts to lose the goodwill of its community, causing players to resent the company and quit the game. Oh, he's this raging. Is obviously something Blizzard would be very careful to avoid. Right? <laughs> you made that. It's not as if they're going to design pointless systems to frustrate the player base, add boosts to classic servers, add more aggressive monetization, mistreat their employees, ignore the community and piss mm -hmm. off the biggest content creators that market their game for free, especially with competitors like Final Fantasy XIV oh, and a very good World, games. I played waiting mainly. to scoop up any potential WoW record refugees. That'd be very bad business long term, and such a big company would surely not make those mistakes.
Jokes aside, for the longest time, I actually thought the WoW killer would actually be World of Warcraft 2. Two, yeah. Before Battle for Azeroth I had the same was announced, thought. I was high on hopium that after all the time travel bullshit in WADS and a fairly climactic story with Legion, I thought that'd be the perfect time to do a full story reset in WoW. Perhaps we defeat the big evil or something happens that causes a long period of peace in Azeroth. Oh, I have one dream and hope for WoW, but I don't think they will do this. Like... Let's be honest, like Shadowlands as the afterlife from a lore perspective in World of Warcraft sucks. I th I, I hope they make it where Shadowlands is actually a pocket afterlife uh, kind of place or something. And there will be an expansion where like literally Shadowlands will be forever destroyed or something happens. And then we hear about from like maybe some entity that actually Shadowlands isn't the real afterlife of World of Warcraft. And there's like a, a, a bigger one and it's just like some sort of pocket realm or something. And then like maybe some plot happens on Azeroth, like something bigger, like I don't know, maybe the Night Elves are looking for someone to lead them or maybe some, I don't know, maybe some, some sort of royal plot or something. And now there are like certain enemies that we forgot about or that survived or something and they're plotting to destroy Azeroth or something like I think that would be cool and then like they introduce World of Warcraft 2 or something like they need to do something about what they did with the mess they need to find a good ending and then a rebirth like wow reborn Azeroth Maybe a few thousand years go by in the game's storyline, Blizzard announced Warcraft 4 at BlizzCon to introduce a whole new cast of characters to get people invested in the Or Warcraft 4 and then WoW 2. Then, Could work too. They announced that for years they've been secretly working on World of Warcraft 2, and it starts by us going back to just being a normal adventurer, Under five rediscovering the world, <laughs> <laughs> questing our way from a hero. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't pan out that way. <clears throat> or maybe it will, but it'll happen at the end of the next expansion or something. I've still got the smallest drop of hopium. That being said though, regardless of if Blizzard have been secretly working on WoW 2, I don't think I trust them to make a truly great MMORPG Oh, anymore. they have so much issues now. I don't think they can focus on it now. All pretty much left and the current team seems need to many new employees for that. talent. On top of that, I think the role of Activision would also stifle any chance the game would have of critical success due to their needs to appease shareholders every month, likely resulting in heavy monetization. Oh, shit, MMORPG shareholders. Player, yeah. The past five years or so has felt like the dark ages for the genre, but the good news is that I think we're actually soon approaching the point of us coming out of that. Wow, killer or not, we've actually got some solid MMORPGs coming out soon. That's cool. That will hopefully satisfy that new MMORPG. MMO launch feeling that we all get nostalgic over. New World is the big one coming this year after numerous oh, delays. I want to play and it whilst so I bad. do think it'll be a game that you'll play on and off as new content is added, I'm certain that this is at least going to be a top 5 MMO by most definitely, people's standards. Definitely. Lost Ark is right around the corner with a western release date and is one of the few MMOs out of Korea to actually gain massive popularity post launch in recent years. Elyon might be fun for a week or two. Final Fantasy XIV is pretty much at the point of or very close to dethroning WoW as the yeah top they are RPG like competing against each other numbers. they're just and two 3k viewers uh, different on, on Twitch in, November. in my opinion a new top sometimes dog even is just great it's higher than WoW overall. on Twitch Black Desert, Elder Scrolls Online, Albion Online, and RuneScape are all very healthy in terms of player numbers and still producing content at but a reasonable pace. I think Elder Scrolls Online will soon run out of, of uh, expansion online, stuff. PSO2 New Genesis, Crowfall, and Mortal Online 2 are a few average new releases we've had this year. Guild Wars 2 is dropping a new expansion soon, which I'm looking forward to. Palia, a casual MMO by X Blizzard devs, was announced this year, by, which looks like the by X Blizzard devs. Holy shit! What is this? Is a farming MMO? It looks very cartoon-like, almost like a bit like Genshin Impact, but like less anime, right? But oh wow! So you're like a, a farmer or something? Perfect is... game to play with the girlfriend you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> that punchline right there. Corp that was a good one. Protocol, TL Origin, Crimson Desert, and Diablo 4 are all on the horizon. Oh, Diablo 4. We've recently started to really see a new breed of thing. MMOs built on blockchain, raising more money for development than was previously possible through crowdfunding. And we've seen Ashes of Creation dropping the NDA for its Alpha 1 and giving backers the chance to play the game for the I will first also get time, into Ashes of Creation. Already showing for a lot sure. of promise by Alpha standards. With all yeah. that stuff going on, 
actually excited for the future of the genre for the first time in a long time. In the coming years, we're going to reach the point where we've got multiple top tier MMOs to choose from, World of Warcraft will continue to drop in dominance, and the desire for a WoW killer will lessen to the point where the concept isn't even a thing anymore. Until one day, out of nowhere, a crazy tech billionaire reveals their latest device that takes our minds to places we've only ever seen in movies. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh wow. Well, that was interesting, but about the WoW killer, I think we shouldn't focus too much on what's going to dethrone WoW. We should look like what game is good. Like, because right now, like, let's be honest, that's what I said at the beginning of this video. Like, the population of all MMO players is spread so much across so many games now and back in the day this was not the case when wow was released so everyone got into touch with wow everyone knows wow like even if they don't play wow they know it right so the game is so famous because it was like one of the first like really big mmos and there weren't so many other competitors right so that's why wow is so big now even till this day because everyone still has the nostalgia feeling for it because it was like their first or their second mmo they got into right and if you look now at games, some are literally, if you play them, better than WoW. Because the combat is better, the graphics are better, the quests are designed better. Like, just look at Final Fantasy XIV. I think dungeons are more fun, raids are more fun. And why is that? Because they have more mechanics. The animations and graphics are way better than in WoW. And there are certain phases where you have to actually do certain mechanics. Like, you need to, let's say, pull a lever or activate some machine. You need to get behind a, a boss in certain phases. And then suddenly there's another phase where you don't get behind but in front of the boss or something. Like, there's just so much cool stuff, like, in the design of, like, dungeons and everything. And from, like, the quest line, how many cinematics there are in Final Fantasy XIV. That from a technological viewpoint and from a content viewpoint, Final Fantasy XIV has already dethroned WoW. But WoW is still more popular, of course, because there's nostalgia and was one of the first big MMOs. So it already made a name for itself. Where, like, other games like Final Fantasy XIV, the same would be with New World. They have so many other MMOs to compete against that they never even get to a phase that WoW was in. Where they had, like, a... Uh, absolute throne for years right because there's no such things there will be phases where you will see certain games be more popular than wow for like several weeks or months and then will drop down again and that's because there's just so much options that players don't even know what game to main anymore so yeah that's that's my take on this like my thoughts and if you guys are new to this channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content and don't forget to like this video if you like this one and i wish everyone a wonderful day i will see you guys next time